Now let's talk about how to use your self-talk in a positive fashion. We're probably all familiar with that little voice inside our head that tends to provide a running commentary on how we're doing moment to moment. It's the voice that tells us to sit up straight. It's the voice that tells us we should remember someone's name. It's the voice that's trying to cue us on how to be successful, how to be acceptable, how to feel better. Unfortunately, when we're very stressed or anxious, it's not unusual for that inner voice to ramp up its efforts to gain control for us. This can sometimes be counterproductive. That constant nagging and jawing that that inner critic, that inner tyrant can become is sometimes very distracting. Sometimes it's very activating because sometimes it even increases our stress about how, what we're not doing or how poorly we may feel about any given moment. This critic or this judge thinks that its best tool is telling us what not to do. Don't be so scared. Don't be such a baby. Don't forget to relax. Unfortunately also, our mind doesn't process the word don't. It's just not possible. So all of that self-talk that's encouraging us to not do something isn't even possible. For instance, if I was to say to you, whatever you do right now, don't imagine a red car. Do not even think about a red car. I know what's happening just as you know what's happening. All we can think about is red car. Our mind doesn't process the word don't. So helping ourselves with suggestions about what to do when we're feeling stressed, when we're feeling anxious, or when we're feeling uncomfortable or a little out of control is our best strategy to try to employ. Saying things to yourself such as, take a few easy, refreshing, calming, cleansing breaths. I'm just going to take a few breaths. can be extremely beneficial. Also, just identify what's happening for yourself. Use a little self-compassion and say, you're just fearful. All of this anxiety is just fear. And of course you're afraid. You have good reason to be afraid. It's okay to be afraid, but what do you want to do next? What do you want to do in spite of being afraid? That's what we're talking about in this series. Sometimes too, just telling yourself, let go, release the tension or the stress, soften your shoulders, soften your muscles, take a few moments to be easy. That sort of self-talk that can be comforting 